In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can complete the entire new Lost Legends, which is the Outbreak. So, which gets you this new mount skin, which is the Big B Beak Bird Outbreak skin. So, further ado, let's begin. So, you'll be starting a bit more far away from this uh, actual place, and main thing you need to do will be getting your hands on the beetle as it's a really helpful pet in this entire you know lost legends you can go for other bases and get yourself one of the first but i won't recommend you no at the start do not get any resources from the villager chest and the one which is the most near to the actual uh, bastion hold of the bastion's final boss fight level main thing first thing i normally did was i just gone into the base and just looked out at the entire base with my mobs just checking out how entire base is built from where can i enter in the most easiest way and i don't know how this happened but my mobs managed to come with me till the final boss fight i mean i was pretty much lucky about that point i was like whoa can i can i cheese this in the same way Okay, I was pretty much insane over that. It was absolutely not working. So I won't recommend you wasting your time just doing this for absolute no reason. Like, it's really dumb, but I don't know how it managed to happen. Like, for real. I you take my mobs into the base. I just jump over the walls and make it to the final boss where the, where the unbreakable is standing. And I just managed to kill him. Like, for real, it's so ridiculous at this point. Putting these jokes aside, you have very limited resources, first of all, the stone and uh, wood. Wood is gonna be really easy to get, but stone will be hard. So when you use stone, just make sure that you, 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 you're using it in the right way. You have two options. Get yourself at a place where you can just slowly make it way or down into the base. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, and main thing I would say, don't make it in front. Like, don't start off from the front of the port of the Bastion's door. But somewhere where there are less uh, defensive stuff. And especially you can just focus on getting rid of any one of the nearest safest whatever you can think of there's nether spreader as when you destroy a nether spreader you can see the grass below it and because of the grass you can expand your base with the netherrack converting like you know that that improvement and then slow and steady make your small base just near that with a carpenter hub many of arrow towers at beginning it might be really chaotic use your plank golems mostly to kill the piglins as once their first wave or somewhat like that a lot of them will come at the same point that's done you can finally focus on getting rid of other things main thing you need to take care of will be getting rid of the spike throwing bomb kind of tower just go around the base and you'll be all right you'll be able to find it i'll, I'll talk about that later but for now get yourself a good place from where not many things can attack you and your buildings you can keep doing that use your playing golems to make sure that the piglins are dead wherever you do just keep expanding it don't worry if you cannot reach that place but the main point will be expanding it next approach for you to go for will be basically getting rid of this entire wall and the place which you select to get rid of that wall make sure that it's clear and not many buildings will be in your way while reaching that final uh, gateway to the uh, killing the unbreakable you know where the unbreakable is there just near that place there is a gate that entire route should be not there will be buildings but there should be nothing too much of the buildings which you don't like so use your stone golems at that point and make sure that wherever you have made the base below or uh, you know before it there is no piglin pit or anything which can attack you really easily getting rid of the piglin pits will be the main choice of you as it's gonna be really helpful for you to get rid of a lot of annoying things as 
these waves are just gonna keep coming if you don't get rid of it and make sure to get rid of this tower it shoots like spike bombs i don't know what to call it i forgot the name but do not build anything around it in the beginning as it's gonna be really more annoying if you do that so main thing will be getting rid of it if you make it in the start but won't recommend you making your small base kind of place where you can just start off near it anywhere so then once you make your way into that place you're gonna expand it again you're gonna stop making up buildings you're gonna do everything you can arrow towers but when you now get out of resources now the nearest uh, village to the uh, you know actual hold of the passion final base you can get some stone especially this village from where you can get actually a lot of stone just from near the village which is really helpful and get just wood is really easy except the savannah like don't go for the savannah any other biome will work out really well then you just gotta back get back to the place where you started all of this so once you're there i mean then you just gotta keep expanding your way it's gonna take a lot of time use the plank golems on the near your main base like small kind of camp kind of thingy whatever you want to call it we're gonna call it base okay i'm not gonna repeat it anymore so we're gonna you're gonna use it as an offensive thing to just defense your entire base just write that so mobs don't destroy it and it doesn't much pressurizes you just use the plank golems and you'll be all right as you make your way into the base get uh, rid of any of the nether spreader you see near that gate and then expand your base even there at beginning do not spend any of your arrow towers or anything until all of the nearby buildings are done carpenter hut will won't be that much helpful over here too as we're in middle of the base so main thing will be getting rid of the nearby towers and making this also really safe place the gold mining machine won't be a threat so don't even bother taking it out but if you manage to take it out that's also all fine to get rid of the buildings make sure you use your you know the stone golems to just get rid of the most of the buildings like that spike tower which is the most biggest threat to you to last me so once that's out you're gonna be all right once you're just keep doing that you know expand your base then uh, getting the plank golems to get rid of the piglins will be the best approach for you and then get rid of all the both of the gates near that place and get into the fight of the unbreakable keep a really good track of from where the piglins are coming if they are still are coming just in a lot of uh, amount so if you see a nearby uh, piglin Hit, just get rid of it as soon as possible because as long they will stay as long your actual time will be wasted so don't hesitate get rid of it as the first uh, you know first condition and then focus on the boss once that place is completely out like nothing can kill you then you're absolutely fine you just need to get some resources i had to go back outside for some resources as i just got I ran out of all of the stone i had so if you have to leave just leave don't worry about it but make sure that a critical moment is not nearby for an example you might lose your uh, nearby bases or something which you just built so make sure you take care of that thing as main and f as till ask me do not use stone golems to even bother attacking that unbreakable as it's absolutely not worth it instead invest in getting the arrow towers using that all of that you know uh arrow like stone using i i don't know what i'm saying right now but yes use your stone in actual arrow towers instead of using it in actually using stone golems do that and if you need to get rid of buildings of course stone golems gonna be the use but don't forget what i just said and use plank golems instead to just get rid of the health of the uh, unbreakable yeah in beginning it might seem like it's really slow and really bad but 
once you get like 50 of them then you're gonna see the actual damage like just believe me i just got so many as they die i just got some more i did that over and over and over again till that entire boss health drained down like it was nothing for real when he attacks with his cannon just make sure that you know nearby your mobs or building as because of you your mobs might die or even buildings might be damaged which sounds like not a big thing but can affect as a big thing as uh, once the building piglin starts spawning you are in a great danger as from inside a part of the near the nether portal if that guy just starts building nether pits you're done for. You can just block away the entire one path by a lot of walls and you'll be alright. But I just had to leave way too many times for uh, resources which was kind of a really annoying thing. But as my strategy gone perfect, you should be at least around getting the boss below or around 50% of his health at last 22 minutes as another 10 minutes will might spend to just get rid of all of his health just because he has so much health and he absorbs so much damage which is insane so just don't think and waste your time even for a minute unless or until you're confident enough that you're gonna be able to do it just dodge your attacks and make sure you don't fall in that lava pit or you there's actually no way you can get out of it I mean, it would be pretty much dumb to do that but yes you keep using your plank golems as they gonna deal so much damage in uniting together and fighting as i did that same thing and help them by getting rid of other of you know other piglins which are attacking from behind or any other place i just get rid of them as soon as possible my ent all of mob space was fully used as just did you have to do that too because if you keep doing that his health will melt a lot more faster than you actually think basically that's the main strat just don't get yourself killed do all of these things i mentioned in the entire video if you do that correctly i mean it's gonna be all right and just like that you'll be defeating the unbreakable one without any huge efforts i mean you just gotta take it in a way how you defeat the horde of the bastion in the easiest way without any cheeses like skeletons or redstone launcher and thing like that without using it how would you prospectively go for the space and how would you attack it even if you think in that way you can actually clear this entire thing very easily so that's how we do it and once you do it you need to collect the reward after doing that you will have the prison break big back and just like that you just clear the entire lost legends i guess and to make sure that subscribe button with notifications on as i put a lot of efforts into making these videos and if you find it helpful please do it i really need it and there is a lot of content for you to watch on my channel comment down below i'm always replying to your comments and if you have any question don't hesitate and comment down below and check this video out as i am 100 percent sure you will enjoy it and thank you for watching this video till the end and this is me Prince signing out of this video. See you later.